I mean, just confidence, um, confidence, um, right approach. I mean, seeing familiar, you know, fam fam familiarity with our rotations and things like that. It just allows you to just be confident and comfortable out there. Um, coaches allowing us to you know, make things happen, just trust in our group. It just, it just gives you that, that, that energy and confidence that you want to have. To. He, he speaks a lot about kind of trusting the offense. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you feel the trust in the offense and guys growing in, in terms of yeah. how they're going to get their shots and everything like that? Yeah, I mean, it's exactly that, trust in the offense. Uh, I've been saying it, you know, when we do, and it could be anybody's night tonight. Mm -hmm. We saw it as a collective group. Uh, guys may have had a few loud, louder points and performances, but as a group, I think our supporting cast was great. Um, guys that have been battling uh, rotation time all year came in and played really well. Nate Knights and, and guys of that, Lucas and Bryn and all those guys. So kudos, shout out to all those guys. How does that feel to the uh, It's good for coach. Good problem to have for coach, have it that many guys that you can uh, use throughout the rotations for specific reasons or whatnot. So it's a good problem to have as a coach. Talked about the familiarity, but Jim played a lot of minutes with Nate Knight um, in the past. So where does that chemistry come from in the pick and roll and the comfort with him slipping on those screens and what you guys can do there? I just know his game. Um, he's one of the first ones in the gym every day. Um, Probably the last one to leave every day. So um, for him, I, I, I'm around the facility, so I see his work. I see what type of game he brings to the game. And uh, recently, I was playing the stay in shape league, and the way he was playing his confidence, you know, it's, I seen it. And um, you, you don't know it until you play in the league and you hear it. So um, I got I got the witness at front row, and he came out and he showed up. You talked a couple weeks back about just just playing a little bit more free, letting go of some of the like point guard, point guard duties. I'm curious, I know you got a lot of guys injured, but Ant has kind of been playmaking too it's contagious. off of that. Yeah, like how, has, have those things kind of tied together in your mind? Yeah, I mean, I go home and brag to my brothers and my friends about, you know, me and his chemistry and these last few games, how it's allowed us to just build confidence in one another first. And then it, and then it shows with the rest of the guys, you know, the Austins, the Kyle Andersons, the Nazes, all these other guys are seeing it and how we're trusting the system and trusting the pack. And one more, and it's just making guys want to do it as well. There was something last year, you know, about this time last year, you guys lost a lot of guys because of COVID. Guys had to step up, and you really took off from that moment onward in the season. This is kind of seems like similar to what happened last year. Is there something about when guys are missing from the lineup that maybe you discover about playing together, or just this many games into the it's season where things? It's happen. opportunity, simple as that. You could be the last guy and. You might get thrown in there because the first or second guy is not, not playing tonight. You can take advantage and never look back. It's just that easy. Our league's that good. Guys are that good. So, I mean, when you ask me, what is it a good problem to have to have this many guys as a player? Hell no. Because if I go out, the next guy might steal my whole little shine. So you want to stay on the floor and be available for, for the group. And um, I didn't want to miss any games because I know guys, Jalen Noel, Austin, those guys are hungry. So. It would be unwise if Cat and Rudy didn't get a lot of touches in the course of a game uh, versus guys like Kyle and Jaden and stuff. Do you think the fact that the personnel on the floor right now enables the backcourt to just kind of flex a little bit more? For sure. For sure. I mean, when you say touches, um, forcing those guys the ball is where we, where, we, where we get in a little bit of trouble. When our offense is just flowing and you don't know who to guard in transition or in a half court offense as a defense, it makes it that much easier to guard. I mean, that much easier to score. So, um, like you said, personnel, obviously, you don't have a unicorn like Cat running down the middle of the floor that demands so much attention. You have a big guy like Rudy in the post or a dunker that's demanding so much attention. You know, it, it forces your guards to kind of make things happen. And that's, that's what you guys are saying. When two guards can play off one another as well as you and Ant are right now, like how much easier does that make the game for both of you? I mean, I don't want you to take it the wrong way, but I mean, when your coach is is, is, is putting that trust in your guys, like in, in us like that, it allows us to feed off of one another and trust anybody that's next to you because you know you need that guy to step up. You need him to have a good game. You need Austin to have 10 to 12 points for tonight, but for next game, you know, and it's just big for our group.